you guys know what I really hate? It's people that have mugs with their own names on them. It's so cringe. Hey, what's up guys, Zach here. Welcome back to another video. So today, as you guys can see, we are finally back on Skate 3 because for some reason, you guys have been sending me so many new Skate 3 challenges this week. Like, I don't know what happened, but everyone is challenging me this week. So I'm going to have to take on some of these challenges in a classic new episode of Epic Skate 3 Challenges. So if you guys would like to send in your own Epic Skate 3 Challenges, you can send them to me on my Twitter, Instagram, or my subreddit. All the links are down in the description. But today, I am excited to beat some of your guys' challenges, okay? You're sending be so many that I have to prove to you guys that I can still do them all. There is actually a couple challenges today that are really hard though, so it might end up like that. I might just end up dead. And obviously, guys, I'm a professional YouTuber, all right? I only make quality content. But what is a professional YouTuber without a professional sponsor? And the sponsor of today's video is the most professional sponsor in the world. I'd like to thank Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. As you guys know by now, Raid Shadow Legends is a massive fantasy multiplayer RPG game with epic boss battles, multiplayer PvP arenas, and over 1 million possible champion builds. And of course, the game has amazing 3D graphics. Like, look at some of my favorite champions. These guys look so awesome. And of course, each champion has their own set of skills. So the guy I'm playing as right now can actually just light people on fire just like that. Yes. So just like me, you guys can progress through the game and build up to taking on the Doom Tower, a very challenging endgame that has so many boss battles. And each boss battle you take on is unique. So you're going to have to have a specific set of skills to take on each boss. And make sure you get the game soon because the big Guardian Ring update is coming out this month. And if you want to get a head start, make sure you click the link in the description or you can use this QR code on your screen right now and you will unlock the epic hero Chonoru, 200,000 silver, 1 XP boost, 1 energy refill, and the 1 ancient shard so you can summon an awesome champion as soon as you get into the game. And you will find all of these rewards right here in your inbox for the next 30 days only. So make sure you guys check out the link in the description. Come and find me right here on Raid Shadow Legends. And once again, thank you to them for sponsoring this video and always supporting my channel. But anyways, let's get back into the video. All right, let's get right into it. Our first challenger today is Mr. Skate123, who you may remember from my last video. This guy is always sending in the best clips. Let's watch this one. Looks like he's doing the speed glitch. He's going flying off the ramp and oh, into a grind on the ledge. That is such a long and fast grind. 360 tail walk out and he's still going. Turns into a full line, tray flip down the stairs, then he rides away. That is crazy. Looks like we're starting this episode off with a huge speed glitch gap to grind challenge. And it's at the bottom of the Super Ultra Mega Park, which is pretty easy for me since we're already here. I've done so many challenges at the Super Ultra Mega Park, but none of them really start at the bottom, so this will be interesting. So I'm pretty sure he sets up a ramp around here, and he gaps all the way up to that ledge up there. All right, so I'm going to drop a ramp right about there. I think that looks pretty lined up, but we're going to have to try it a few times anyways. All right, the ramp is all set up, so now we just have to come over here and try the speed glitch. Never get the speed glitch first try. Oh, I got the speed glitch first try. <laughs> Let's go. We're, we're breaking boundaries here today. Where are we going? Oh, my. Okay, that's not what we were trying to do, but hey, speed glitch first try is something to be proud of. That is setting a good vibe for this video. We're also going way too fast, though. This speed glitch is sending me. We need to slow it down a little bit. There we go. Okay, now... Okay, I'm, I missed the ramp. And go. Okay, perfect speed. And oh my god, when you're going this fast, it's hard to it's hard to line it up and be precise. Yeah, going this fast, it's so hard to land in a grind because you have to literally line it up perfectly. But I think we're getting close. Like that, and then like that. Okay. Oh, that was so close, but I hit the tree. Bada boom. Bada bang. And oh, that was so close. Nice. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Yes. Oh, there we go. All right. Not a tail walk, but we will take that. Oh, and we're still going. Let's go. All right. There we go. That was an awesome challenge. I was doing everything I could to stay in this grind. That was sick. All right. Let's take another look at it. We got the speed glitch off the start. Fakey flip into what do you want to call this? Like a switch over crook, maybe? I don't know what you want to call it, but all the way down. Look how long this ledge is. We're going so fast all the way through out the other side. And then, a, you know, no foot air, a trick I almost never do. But you know what? I kind of panicked, guys. I was just surprised that we landed it. But let's see, like inward heel flip 180. I don't even know what was going on at this point. I was just trying to ride away. And we did. Woo, let's go.
Oh, I'm so happy that we got the entire length of the ledge. That looks so good. All right, that was awesome, but we have to move on to the next challenge. Our next challenger is Luker65. He sent this on my subreddit. Let's watch it. He's at the quarry. Looks like he goes all the way down. We've seen challenges like this before. He doesn't go over the rafters or anything. He's going all the way. Not really sure what he's going to do yet. And then, oh, double front flip over the building. I did not know it was even possible to do a double flip there. A double front flip over a building. I've definitely never done that. And that's an awesome spot. I always love going to the quarry. So let's head over there right now, and we'll give this one a try. All right, here we are at the quarry. One of my favorite spots in Skate 3. It's a super unique spot to skate, but today... We're going to be going down this huge drop. Now, this is interesting because in order to double flip over the building, first, we're going to have to be in normal, which I don't play in too much. But other than that, we're also going to have to put a ramp on top of the building, which means we're going to have to try to land on the building. Yes, no, no. I don't know if that's going to work. Please, no. So there's some weird mechanics in Skate 3 where the only way you can activate, like, multiple flips is if you're really close to hitting something. I don't think the building is tall enough for that. So in the clip we watched, the guy actually puts a ramp up here. But I need a stay up here please yes there we go so let's line it up with the jump right around here and i think he just puts a decked quarter pipe i'm pretty sure he just has one of these facing this way we might have to change where we put it but i think we're just gonna put it right here for now and because we have to do this challenge in normal we also have to put some landing ramps because in easy you can land on this flat area down here but on normal you cannot all right these look good to me i'm pretty sure we have everything set up now we just have to actually try it so let me switch my difficulty into normal and we'll give it a try. A double flip over a building. This <laughs> this will be interesting no matter what. So I think the reason he doesn't try to go over the rafters is because he's in normal. You don't want to bail right there. Okay, can we get this first try? Imagine. Nope, not first try. That's only a single flip. We're clearly going too fast. I don't exactly know what the best way would be to go slower. I think we just might have to try it a few times or maybe... Oh, what the heck? Maybe if we like move a little more. I don't know. We just don't want to be going quite as fast. Oh, there we go. One flip. Two flip. Come on. Oh, we almost had it second try. Somehow I landed right in the middle of my two ramps. The only place where I couldn't land. Oh, I don't want to get too excited. Sometimes I get really close to landing challenges at... What the heck? <laughs> Sometimes I get really close to landing challenges at the start, and then it takes a really long time after that to get close again. Why does my guy keep going off to the left? Sometimes we just get a little bit of beginner's luck in these challenges. But I'm still hopeful. I think we can do it. Okay, I don't know why it pulls me to the left so much, but like this. Okay, line it up, and... Okay, nope, that's into the ramp. <laughs> At this point, we've done just about everything over this ramp. We've gone two flips over the ramp, one flip over the ramp, no flips over the ramp. We've done a flip into the ramp, but hopefully right here, we can double flip the ramp and land it. Come on. Oh, we went just too far. All right, come on. Let's try to stay in the middle here. One flip, two flip. Oh, Okay, looks like we're lined up pretty well. Don't even have to move all that much. And one flip, two flips. Yes, there we go. Oh, <laughs> now we slam into the barricade, but yes, there we go. Double flip over the building at the quarry. Oh, everything went right with that one, honestly. I, I was perfectly lined up. The flips were perfect and right in the middle of the landing. That's what I'm talking about. Let's see it one more time. Of course, we're in normal, which makes everything just a little bit more difficult. But we kind of went sideways here, which was cool. But I managed to pull it back just in time for a perfect landing. And then I tried to power slide and stop, but my guy just couldn't stop in time. But you know what? It's kind of like a celebration crash. He's just so excited that he ended up on the floor. All right, let's put a camera right here on the roof and we'll film it. Oh, nice. All right, a good clip. That's the first for me, a double flip over a building. Maybe one day someone will be able to do a triple flip over a building. If that day ever comes, make sure you send that to me because I want to try it. Well, all right, let's move on to our next challenge. This one comes from Sold Lord. He calls it the Clock Tower Insane Double Gap. Let's watch it. Speed glitch off the clock tower all the way into like the bank. He's still going and he goes up the ramp and then a 540 onto the stadium. How did he end up on the stadium when he started on the clock tower? We have another angle of it here. Look at this first gap right in between the tree and the banner. Then he puts us in slow-mo at like two frames per second. And he goes off the ramp up onto the stadium. Oh, now that is a huge double gap. It's not even that easy to get on top of the clock tower. So <laughs> well, we'll start there. 
All right, here we are at the clock tower. As you can see, it's pretty tall. The only way to get up there is by doing the launch glitch. There's no, like, ladder or anything. But in order to get high enough to do the launch glitch, we actually have to be up on a roof. And in order to get up there, we also have to do the launch glitch. So it's a double launch glitch in order to get to the double clock tower gap. I'm pretty hyped for this one. This one might take a while, though. But oh, is that a first try launch glitch? We take those. This is just the episode of getting glitches first try. And then I can't make, like, a five-foot jump. Please. Oh, come on. Sometimes you have to improvise, even in the easiest of situations. All right, here we go. Made myself a little. No, it's moving. It's moving. Go, 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 go. Oh, that was kind of cool. We did it while it was rolling off the edge. All right, but now that we're here, we can launch glitch, hopefully, up onto the clock tower. All right, here we go. Maybe we'll get a first try again. Okay, well, we got the glitch, but not quite up onto the clock tower. You got to get a really good... Oh, that one might be it. Go, left, left, left. Come on. No, how we just wrapped around it. You got to get a really good one like that to make it up. But that gave me some confidence. Oh, like that? Oh, that might be perfect. And slam right into it and land. Perfect. Come on. And stay up here. Yes. Okay, that was actually way easier than I thought it was going to be. But now we have the harder part. We have to speed glitch gap all the way down there. You can't even really see where we're trying to land. And then we have to go up the landing ramp at the shark and land up on the stadium. So basically, we have to end up up there. All right, guys. This is where legends are made. Challenges like this. Oh, wait. Where are we going? We're going that way. All right. Here we go. I don't know what's going to happen. I feel like we're going to need a lot of luck. Okay. We weren't really lined up there. We went too far left. Oh, into the vending machines. If I had to guess, I would say that this challenge is going to take a lot of luck, which is not necessarily a good thing because you can be really, really, really good at the game. You can play for a decade, but in challenges like these, you need a little bit of luck on your side too. I think my only strategy is to just keep launching myself off the clock tower until eventually I land in this banked area, which is what we're aiming for. And then somehow I'm going to have to quickly also go off this ramp. This is going to be tough. Okay. <gasps> no way. No way. Oh, I thought we had it. That was definitely close. We were really close to landing that. All right. Well, that's promising. I mean, I'm not that many tries in right now, and I already got kind of close on a land. Now we're going the wrong way. The problem is not only do we have to land there. Oh, this is close again. Oh, I don't think I'm landing close enough. But not only do we have to land there, we also have to hit this, of course. Oh, can't really tell where I am. Okay. Oh, I think we're landing it. Oh, yes. Yes. No. What? Oh, we la okay, we landed on the incline, but I was going way too fast. I could not also get onto the ramp but that's huge that is great that we landed the first part that's why double gap challenges are so hard not only do you have to land the first gap but then you have to prepare yourself for the next one and i probably have a total of like maybe one second to adjust my guy to go off this ramp oh yes okay where's the dude it's so little time like and the, the camera is so far away that it's so hard to guide the character to the ramp it's like literally random though like i keep doing the same speed glitch and i end up in different places or i end up going way too far like that sometimes i go to the left sometimes i go to the right <gasps> oh or sometimes i just don't land it okay i think i got it again nice left and up yes what oh <laughs> what <laughs> We made it into the stadium. What? I don't even know what to do about that. Like, I guess I need to slow down or maybe I don't want to ollie. I don't know. Obviously, we have to land all four wheels down on top of the stadium for it to count. I don't even know what happened there. Okay, this is definitely going to be a try, I think. Yep. Okay. And up. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, bonk. Come on, come on, come on. And yes, okay, off and up. Oh, what's going on? What? We're, oh, we're hitting like everything but where we need to land. I think at this point, it's safe to say the second part of this challenge. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, the second part of this challenge is harder than the first part of this challenge. Perfect. Okay, up the ramp. Nice. What the? Where are we going? We're going upside down. Oh, we landed on the stadium. That doesn't count. Come on! Yes! There we go! On to the stadium! We did it! The clock tower double gap! We started all the way on the clock tower over there, and now we're up on the stadium. All right, let's watch this one back. The speed glitch off the clock tower in between the banner and the tree, and then up the ramp, and... 
boo right onto the stadium and we stick the landing let's go oh that was one of the hardest challenges i've done in a while guys i'm so happy to have landed that one cleanly but all right let's try to set up a camera here and we will film it Nice! The camera angle is so far away because of how big the gap is. Alright, that is definitely a successful challenge. Alright guys, that was three very difficult challenges in a row, so I think we should end it with more of a fun challenge. This last clip was sent to me on Twitter by Nedward Holmesbury. Let's watch it. So as you can see, they're somewhere near the stadium where we are, but they do one, two, three rails. Huge hippie jump. Let's watch that back one more time. They approach it, they jump, they bounce off the first rail, and they just do a, a massive hippie jump. And what's the better way to end this video than with a huge triple hippie jump? And honestly, we could probably like fly down to that area because it's right down over here. Yes, here we are at the Chan Center. This is actually a really cool spot, but basically, as you can see, there are three rails in a row. One, two, three. They do a hippie jump. Board goes underneath all three. Their skater flies through the air and lands on the ground. Hopefully, this isn't too tough of a challenge. I think we need an easy one to end this video. But who knows? Sometimes the challenges that look the easiest end up being the hardest. But anyways, I think they just hippie jump like this, and oh, that was almost first try. The hard part here is that you have to get the board to make it all the way to the bottom without hitting anything like that. And you also have to get a lot of speed and not a lot of space. Oh, one, two, no. Oh, come on. All right, it's kind of hard going to the right of this bench. Oh my gosh, you see how far my guy just flew there? Come on, we love hippie jump challenges here. And bang, bang. Oh, so close. The board wasn't there. Okay, line it up and bang. Oh, the board landed in between my legs. Yes, there we go. That was actually sick, the way he caught that at the end. All right, we did it. It took a little bit longer than I was expecting, I'll be honest. But once I figured out what to do, it was it was a nice little ender to this video. I kind of want to see that from another angle. The problem is my character goes so far away from my board that it's like hard to keep them both on the screen. Nice. All right, cool little triple hippie jump there. Well, all right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Once again, big thank you to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. Make sure you check out the link in the description if you would like to download the game. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. And as always, stay sexy. See you guys.